Thanks up, my guys, and welcome back to Stormworks. Now, since the last episode I did in this game, they have released the Search and Destroy, aka the Weapons DLC, and I've been experimenting with it quite a bit as of late. Now, I don't want to go into too much detail about the experiments I've been doing. However, I do want to show one of the testing platforms slash prototypes I've been playing around with quite a bit, which is the XMBT Mark V. Um, quick thing to say, this is not a finished tank. Uh, it's not really battle ready. It works. Um, it does not have the generator in it like it would normally have, and I'm currently running almost entirely off of battery power. However, I do want to show off some of the features that this vehicle does have. So, armament-wise, we have a battle cannon and a light auto cannon in the same exact form factor as my opal, which I've been using as a um, target practice over there. The really cool features with this is that the light auto cannon has a 200-round internal magazine as well as the large cannon has a 19 round magazine and it's all fully automated fully automation loading and all 19 rounds are accessible by the gun without any need to get out of a seat or move rounds around i could probably make this bigger if i needed to i think um during testing i had 24 rounds auto loaded um but for now it's just a testing platform the fact that i can shoot 19 rounds continuously at the rate that this can i'm really happy with it so let's go ahead and climb down in here and a few things we will see we do have some of the ammo rack for some of the light guns we have here we do have our seat and here you can see the large belt system for the main battle cannon one little trick that makes this work are the belt connectors over there. You will see them. Now this C piece here, when it's on the actual, when it's in the actual build menu, if we go in here, you will see that that C piece, oops, see if I can get a good look at it. There we go. That C piece is dangling right between these two connectors and as soon as it comes off lift it actually drops down on our railing system and these two link up this allows the actual belt to be continuous to the gun whilst these connector pieces allow the gun to still pivot up and down whilst transferring ammo between them it's a little thing i figured out and it's really nice um and then the belt curls down and is on the floor here here we go so, that is how I was able to get 19 rounds auto-loaded without the need to ever, like, get up and move ammo around. It's all completely in the gun. Um, there are some things I would like to add to this at some point. Possibly extra ammo storage somewhere. Either a larger auto-loaded belt like this, or spare rounds and an easy way to quickly reload those 19 rounds. Next thing you come in here is you do have the sight, and this is all mouse controlled. I'm really happy with how this turned out aiming wise, like the speed at which you can get a target. So I have a target there in the mountains, point gun, and there she is. At this point, I can engage pretty quickly. Either two machine guns, fire, low right, aim adjust, fire. And there is a bit of just randomness to this gun, unfortunately, hit. I wish these guns were more accurate. I think adding more barrels helps with that, but I'm already pretty long barrels wise. Yeah, this gun is just really inaccurate. I'm happy with it, and as we look around, we can see tanks down there, so let's grab targets on those. Start moving. So using this mouse control system, I'm really happy with just how quickly you can get a hold of targets.
Um, I need to find a way to make this gun way more accurate because that is actually just straight up disappointing. And you can also see the autoloader at work just by the fact we haven't had to do anything with ammo yet. And there we go, we're actually out of ammo. You can hear the auto loader. It'll just keep cycling, trying to feed new rounds. And that is actually out of ammo. So also, real quick, let me take this back into this just so I can easily reload it. Down. And uh, one cool thing is because of how the guns are, just this three tall turret, really happy three tall turret, um, the guns just straight up shoot their ammo out the top of the turret. Downside is it will make it easier to see you, I guess. Upside is it looks really badass. When the round just flings out the top like that. <laughs> and I am also very happy with where's my target target also I can't find it I need to make crosshairs that's like the next thing I need to do once again prototype and where the fuck is that thing there it is really need to put crosshairs on this and I also forgot what I was just about to say. Ooh. Oh, I know. I also love when you fire. Sometimes you can see the shell in the camera view as it comes out of the gun. As I say that, it's not going to do it. It's not going to throw the shell in front of the camera. And while this doesn't have a stabilizer, I'm... it's... <laughs> the fact that you have this control with the mouse, you could almost kind of self-stabilize. Also, this tank isn't exactly moving quickly, so that also helps, I guess. And run ammo. So, that is a quick, quick look at some of the progress I've been making with the new weapons DLC. Um, hopefully, I had. I'm really hoping to have a fully finished and battle-ready tank here soon. Um, and honestly, it may actually just be this Mark V upgraded to be battle-ready with the generator and everything in it, like it should have. So. Without any further ado, I'm going to end this episode here. Just a quick, quick look at what I've been working on as of late. Just to show you guys some of the progress. So, without any further ado, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around. And until next time, peace.